Hey, it's Huck. And I'm not going to take a lot of your time today. I know it'd be real easy for me to kind of ramble on on, you know, two of the main topics um, that uh, keep flying around the news. One, of course, you know, being uh, the whole Russia-Trump thing and the corruption of the Trump family. Um, And two, being the whole, you know, um, gun violence issue. Um, And, uh, you know, events that uh, are sustaining. Uh, Thanks to the the brave young uh, survivors of uh, Stoneman Douglas High School down in Florida uh, and and their continued efforts. And, you know, um, uh, have no fear. I'm watching all of that very closely. But today I thought I would touch just briefly, like I said, on on a separate subject that may be kind of flying under your radar. And I just want to bring your attention uh, that this is something worth looking into. And that is that uh, there's an organization uh, that's based in Nashville uh, called the CMA. And uh, this country music association uh, is probably best known you know, popularly um, due to the music awards that they put on every year. Uh, But it's actually a much bigger organization that does a lot more than just bestow awards. Now, old Huck here, I I like all types of music. Those of you who uh, maybe have subscribed to my main channel, HuckFin22, may have come across some of my, you know, my music videos. Music is something that I've always, you know, had had an interest in. Um, as as have all of the arts. My mom was a um, uh, you know an amateur um, artist uh, who worked in oil paints and different medium as far as uh, you know um, putting uh, things on canvas. Uh, I don't have any of that talent whatsoever. And probably my greatest um, regret over my illness has been, uh, you know, unfortunately, I have not been able to, I've not been able to make music uh, like I once did. I can't really, um, uh, you know, sing. Uh, And some would say I never could. (laughs) But uh, anyway, you know, that's, uh, that's just a part of the arts experience that I've kind of long, you know, been immersed into, um, really going back to my youth. And, and unfortunately, it's a reality today that as schools uh, find their budgets under attack from a, a shrinking tax base, thanks to a particular political party, um, the arts programs, whether it be music, whether it be art, whether it be um, music, uh, whether it be uh, drama, they seem to take the, you know, the, the crux of the axe. And so the CMA uh, down in Nashville uh, made a decision about 48 hours ago to name to their board of directors um, Mike Huckabee. Now, Mike Huckabee um, is probably um, best known (laughs) um, as someone who is very intolerant, um, uh, particularly when it comes to um, uh, gender issues. As many of you will recall, he um, kind of showboated his way onto the stage um, when Kim Davis in uh, Kentucky was... uh, refusing to hand out uh, gay 
uh, marriage certificates um, as uh, part of her duty as a um, uh, county clerk. And uh, at any rate, um, so when the CMA named Huckabee to their board, they actually, uh, you know, uh, they actually had a, a reason uh, or purpose for doing so, and that was that uh, years ago, at least, when um, Huckabee was a, um, a governor down in Arkansas, if you will um, recall, he followed Bill Clinton uh, as governor of Arkansas. Uh, he had a history back then of um, promoting arts in education and had a way of um, trying to get Arkansas schools to incorporate more uh, art programs, whether it be music or whether it be uh, you know, whatever, uh, into the schools. And I guess, you know, this is what the, the CMA was thinking when they named him to the, the board as they were trying to get, um, you know, some partners on board that um, might help sway some of the, uh, uh, some of the states like, uh, like Kentucky, to implement more arts programs in education. However, uh, within 24 hours of naming Huckabee to their board, he was basically forced to resign, or at least he, uh, he did so. And uh, the reason was because so many other members of the CMA and other movers and shakers down in Nashville um, uh, were absolutely repulsed uh, by the news that Huckabee uh, had suddenly joined this organization. And, and several, uh, several big players in the Nashville uh, market uh, including um, some of the biggest uh, uh, companies that uh, produce music uh, or represent talent. Uh, basically, let the CMA know that uh, they were no longer interested in uh, participating in CMA events uh, uh, or in any way whatsoever having anything to do with an organization that would uh, put this intolerant Mike Huckabee fella uh, on their board. And so Huckabee resigned. And, uh, you know, I mention this only because I know that um, you know, America has largely kind of um, found itself divided between, you know, red states and blue states. And a lot of times, I think, uh, you know, we sit back and we, we think of, um, you know, states like Tennessee uh, or Alabama or, you know, uh, Mississippi, Texas, you know, as, you know, as red states and red states only, and um, we don't, I don't think, appreciate uh, all the time just um, how many pockets of, of um, fair-thinking, liberal-minded uh, uh, folks, you know, work in places and, um, and have some power in places like like Nashville, uh, or places like Houston, uh, you know. Um, so, anyway, I, I bring that to your attention today for your, uh, you know, for your consideration. And um, I just want to reiterate again 
my support for, uh, you know, this whole business going on here with uh, the uh, attempt to get, uh, put pressure on the NRA, uh, businesses that do business with the NRA, uh, and more than ever on our politicians who are in bed with the NRA. Um, I really hope and believe that, you know, their time has come and that uh, this November, <clears throat> with all of the other momentum um, that is uh, bringing about what uh, many expect to be a blue wave is only going to be heightened by the fact that uh, we are getting, you know, such a great response from many young people who really have uh, taken this whole gun issue very personally for obvious reasons. And I, I really do think that that's going to be, um, you know, maybe the twist of the knife in the conservative movement as, as it now stands. Um, we'll have to see how that goes. Remember, there is a march on the 24th. Remember to do your part. I'll be posting some stuff specifically on that. But at any rate, um, you know, it's crazy weather we're having here. Uh, two days ago, it was 70 degrees here in Ohio. Uh, or I think it got up to about 67. And, uh... This morning it was down to 30. We've got uh, snow on the ground. And uh, it's just horrible. Here, I'll let you take a look at this. Isn't that terrible? I don't know. Ohio. Anyway, I thank you for watching. I hope, uh, I hope you have a great day. And I'll get back with you real soon.